Hi. If you're here to create your first project in Grasshopper, you're in the right place. Let's get started and unleash your creative potential. Vector. Construct point. Drag and drop onto the canvas. X coordinate, 0. Y coordinate, 0. Z coordinate, 0. This shows that our point is located exactly at the origin. Red line, X axis. Green line, Y axis. Blue line, Z axis. Now, we'll learn how to modify the point's coordinates with the help of a number slider. Params. Number slider. Drag and drop onto the canvas. Connect to the X coordinate. You can change the value by moving the slider left and right. Double click on the number slider. Double click to change the maximum value. 100. Press enter. Digits. 1. Click OK. To make the point more visible, let's use the dot display component. Display. Dot display. Drag and drop onto the canvas. Connect the point to the dot display component. After this step, the point is now more visible on the Rhino viewport. Let's duplicate the number slider to use it for other inputs. Click the Alt key once as you move the slider. This creates a copy of the components. Connect to the Y coordinate. Move the sliders to change the point's coordinates. You can optionally rename the number sliders as well. Right click. X. Right click. Y. Organize the canvas and shorten the sliders. Let's continue by creating new points. Hold down the right mouse button and drag to select all the components. Control C, Control V. Without releasing the selection, drag the group of components down. Move the sliders to change the point's coordinates. Hold down the right mouse button and drag to select all the components. Control C, Control V. Drag the group of components down. Select the components. Control C, Control V. Delete the dot displays as we no longer need them. First point. Second point. Third point. Fourth point. Now, let's learn how to draw a curve using these points. Curve. Interpolate. Drag and drop. We will connect the point sequentially to the vertices input. Connect the first point. Hold down shift while connecting the second point. Our curve is starting to take shape. Hold down shift while connecting the third point. Great. There's just one last point left. Hold down shift while connecting the fourth point. Congratulations! You have successfully created the curve. You will see that the shape of the curve changes simultaneously as you adjust the sliders. Now, let's offset the curve. Offset curve. Drag and drop onto the canvas. Connect the original curve to the curve input. The offset curve is created, but we need to increase the distance. The default distance is set to 1. 
Control C, Control V. Connect to the distance. Now, let's learn how to create a surface using the curves. Surface Freeform Ruled Surface This component allows us to create a surface between two curves. We will connect the interpolate curve to the curve A input. We will connect the offset curve to the curve B input. Congratulations! You have created your first surface in Grasshopper. Let's observe the changes in the form by adjusting the coordinates. Now, let's learn how to create a brep using a surface. Freeform Extrude We will use the surface we created as the base. For the direction, we will use the z-axis. Vector Vector We will use the unit z for the direction. Connect the unit vector to the direction. Let's connect a number slider to the factor input to control the magnitude of the Z vector. Double click on the grasshopper canvas to activate the search bar, then enter a value to create a number slider. 15.0. Press enter. Connect to the factor. Double click to change the value and enter a new one. 30. Let's hide the extra vertical lines here with a brep contain. Params. Brep. Connect extrusion to brep. Here, both the extrusion object and the brep are visible at the same time, making the view confusing. That's why we need to turn off the preview of the extrude component. Click the mouse wheel. Disable preview. The same applies to the surface. Click the mouse wheel. Disable preview. We will use the custom preview to visualize our model more clearly. Display Custom Preview Connect Brep to Geometry We will use the material input to change the color of the geometry. Params Input Color Swatch Connect to the material Open the color palette Change the color Change the hue value Great! You have created your first grasshopper model. Now, let's make changes to our parametric model using number sliders. Change the height. Change the distance. Finally, let's learn how to bake our grasshopper model into Rhino. Right click on the geometry. Bake. 
Click OK. Select the model. Move. Click the mouse wheel. Disable preview. Click the mouse wheel. Enable preview. Perspective. Monochrome. Finally, let's create another copy by changing the parameters of our project. Right click on the geometry. Bake. Click OK. Select the model. Move. Zoom factor, 165%. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.